here it's another at the double weekend folks first up will be our 99 Brad Kedlowski Ford F-150 racing truck here at Kentucky Speedway and then we move on to the Xfinity series at Iowa where hopefully the five-star drives will kick in with something fan dabby doozaloozy So, without further ado, let's get this bad boy qualified. I should think we'll do uh, quite well now that we've got uh, this truck. Green flag, give him one time around. I was thinking about making a few uh, slight alterations to my uh, Kislowski truck but uh, I think I'll keep hold of them truck feels a little tight through 3 and 4 so that's something we can uh, perhaps work on Four-wheel drift. You know, I said it was tight. I think it's uh, actually the other way around. It's we've got loose entry, tight through middle of the corner. The worst kind of uh, stuff you can have. And that's probably why we're 18 for not uh, higher up. Truex will lead us off for the night race at Kentucky. Be ready and the green flag's in the air. Let's go racing at the Kentucky Derby. And Friesman's trying to put me up the track already. Sort that out. We're really loose. It's the worst kind of loose as well. It's loose in. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. We're four wide! Oh. Right. If the yellow's out now, we'll take... The no wonder we're so bloody loose for crying out loud. Let's get that tightened up. What the hell's going on there? Uh, no fuel, no... We'll get tyres. Might as well. We're at the back anyway. <laughs> See if that makes any difference. Free to go in this stage. Much better. Much, much better. I love this truck already. Whoa, Young snapped up the track there. We have to back out the throttle. But look at this truck now, it's on fire.
and we're running the uh, the Kyle Larson line as we call it. Oh look at that livery on Schneider, that's a new livery. I wonder if that came in the patch. Anyway, it's one to go, presented by Credit One Bank. We'll continue to run this Kyle Larson line. I'm coming up to one of my teammates. I think he's got the last... Uh... No, he hasn't. Well, we've got to take it away from him. Yaley's coming up the track. That's Sindrick. There's Briscoe. Briscoe's going to put the block. Kislowski's a... Oh, the Kislowski's were fighting for that last... Poets position. But it's only 11th, which uh, equates to absolutely nothing. Right then, we won't pit. So we're going to restart 11th. Briscoe 10th. Sidrick 12th. And the green flag is back in the air. We're going to get a nudge off uh, Endfinger. And a nudge off Sindrick as well. See if we can sneak past uh, Briscoe with Cody Coughlin. Jesus, that's really Kyle Larson line. South gives us a door in. As we go four wide with Coughlin, then Finger and Briscoe. Somebody's got to back out of that. And it was Coughlin. Look who's up here having another great race again. Ross Chastain. What is it about that 66 truck a mile and a half? Give him a shot down. Oh, bloody hell, we give him a right shot. We get doored again by Enfinger. Oh, Brit Chastain, no, he's going to save it. And we're going to take the Larson line again. Past John Hunter Niemicek, who's trying to put us in the wall. He probably did put us in the wall. Chastain's going to give us a shot. That Larson line's not working, Ian. We're free wide with uh, Chastain and Gregson. Pass Hunter Niebercheck. We're now going to come up to Matt Crafton. It looks like Ben Rhodes is leading this race. Gonna go underneath Crafton, that's fifth place. Austin Hill and uh, Chris Bell in front of us. Austin Hill's trying to put us down below the line. Oh, that's how you do that. I've got loads of momentum. Bell coming right up the track. Now you gotta work, Bell. We're round the outside of you. Truett and Ben Rhodes. I've been having that much fun. I don't know uh, what lap we're on. We may be uh, about to cross for the one to go. No, four to go. Fuel's good. Six laps. I wonder if these lot can make it. to be around the outside of Truex. If we don't get him this lap, we'll set him up for turn one. And perhaps the exit of turn two as well. And that's, a, that's the Larson line again. Oh. I've really got to stop taking that Larson line. that 
last of the line just doesn't work. Two to go as we cross the line. We've got the momentum, have we? It's going to be in Truex down into three and four. Truex coming up the track. He's putting us in the wall. There you go. He said clear low. I don't think he is clear. He's back into second. Now we're fighting a tight truck through the middle of the corner. One to go, presented by Credit One Bank. If we get turn one right to not take the last of line we might have to banzai him into three and four look at these they're all dead below the line can they make it well Truex won't make it idiot Right, everyone's pitting, so we're going to do the same. Take fuel, four tyres, and I think we'll loosen it a touch. So that's either going to work or it's not going to work. As we uh, get the green flag to start stage two, Truex is miffed, obviously. I think everyone's going to need some sign of caution to make it. Austin Hill's helped me into the corner here. Thanks, Austin. I don't need your help now. I wonder who's going to try and make it. Because this is going to be interesting. Who's going to try to make it? Because we're, what, 16-15. Oh! Ben Rhodes might try to make it. I know. If we can save fuel, we'll save, but... I just think it's asking a little too much. to save a lap of fuel. So we'll see. But we are saving. saving whether we save enough or not I don't know it's all a question of whether Ben Rhodes is saving just gone to 11 in the middle of one and two so I think we are saving which is good and I also think now we're getting to the stages we can possibly make it
See, see Broads get uh, very loose through into the first corner. Yeah, we've just gone to... Oh, this is going to be so close. Had to save that. Ten to go. Ten on the fuel. Oh, that's the last in line again. And we go to nine. Middle of the back straight. Kentucky has turned into a fuel saving race. Can we make it on fuel? That's going to be the all important question now. And the good news is we're keeping Ben Rhodes in our sights as well. Right, I think it's hammer down time now. No pit messing about with Ben Rhodes. I think it turned to zero in out of three and four. We can go for this now. Going, it's going to turn to zero in the middle of three and four. So all I would have to do is basically sprint to the line. Ben Road putting the block on me. It's a good race, man, with Rhodes. I'm certainly the faster truck. now turning to zero out of four here comes the pass on Rhodes it's going for the lead we'll just keep an eye on the fuel into the wall as well we don't want that Someone went into the wall. I can see. Oh, that might have been Truex earlier. Yeah, we can make this now. Five to go at Kentucky. out the throttle, he was starting to tighten up into the wall, we didn't want that. As we set our fastest lap, take the Larson line almost into the corner, out the corner now, into the wall again. Tightening up through the middle of three and four. We don't uh, need this. Ah, they can't make it. But I can. And uh, in fact, that was Ben Rhodes himself. I tell you what, I want some of these other trucks to make it. second now then Matt. oh did they get lucky right well we're gonna play a little strategy and we're not gonna pit 
So we are in overtime. It looks like Austin Hill, Grant Enfinger and Ross Chastain are gambling with the fuel as well. Green baby, let's go get it. We've got to get into the first corner before uh, Austin Hill. And Grant Enfinger. We're low on fuel. We know we're low on fuel. Let's see who can make it. Who else took the wave around? It looks like uh, no one else took. One to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Who can make it? We're almost out of gas, our crew chief is telling us, but we have enough to hold on, I think. Truck loose. Doesn't matter. We're out of turn four. We're going to win at Kentucky, folks. And we just drop fuel there. In other words, folks, we made it. On fuel as well. So we didn't win a stage all night. And yet we win the race. I think that that is pretty good going, don't you think? Briscoe and I think Sindrick, did Briscoe and Sindrick get trapped a lap down? No, Sindrick finished 14th. It don't pay that well, does it, this uh, buckle up your truck ride? Oh, well, then let's go and uh, see what happens back at the shop. Oh, but first we've got to look at the standings. Because the standings are all important. Oh, I forgot, we got to celebrate as well. Everything's about the celebration at the minute. Celebrate! Celebrate! It's good to celebrate every once in a while. Fastest lap for us. Ben Rhodes led the most laps. We were the guy on the move. And Chris Bell was the hard luck story. Tough luck, kid. Tough luck. So, that's all good. So it's now time to go Xfinity racing. Now we didn't complete the incentive contract. Fair enough. Who are we going to get? We could use your help driving the 99 truck. Who's the 99? Oh, we didn't get uh, five-star teams yet. Oh, okay. Got a four-star team, though. Oh, this is it. Kentucky 2. It's the Kentucky doubleheader. Aha! That's good, then. We'll do the uh, Kentucky doubleheader. So, uh, let's get out there with the 99 car. I think that's David Starr's car, isn't it? We'll soon find out when we get to uh, Kentucky. So, here we? we are back at Kentucky. I actually thought this was the uh, Kentucky-Iowa doubleheader. But uh, obviously not. So it is the 99 car of David Starr that uh, we're going to be taking around here. So let's get it done. Let's get qualified. One time around. Let's get it done. See is how we uh, just won here. We should have uh, all the confidence, all the momentum to do well in uh, the Xfinity race. Oh, that's.
that's right, we get the five stars for Iowa and um, Road America and Richmond, don't we? Because we ended up with Stuart Haas, Joe Gibbs and Roush Fenway. Well, no offence, but I'd rather have uh, a different kind of Ford, if you don't mind. And speaking of bad qualifying, 27th. I thought that was pretty good qualifying, actually, but uh, obviously they didn't. Eric Jones will lead us off in Kentucky. But just behind Joey Logano. See if he does any more shenanigans this race. Oh, is it a night race at Kentucky? Good! Green flags in the air! Let's go race at Kentucky again! coming down on us. We're going to pull up to Logano. Oh, that's net the fret around. That's Logano around. Save it, save it, save it. He saved it, I think. Did you save it? Did you save it? Did you save it? He saved it. <laughs> oh, Logano with the save. No, he didn't save it. <laughs> I thought he did. Oh, right then. No pit. Going to restart 22nd. Have you noticed they're always quick to throw the caution in the Xfinity series? So, let's go. Six to go. That is Brendan Brown. Brandon Brown trying to sneak through on the inside. We're not having that one. Oh, who is that all kinds of loose? As we take the last in line, that looked like Harvick. As we go to Casey Kane. In the Junior Motorsports entry. Oh, someone checked up. In front of uh, Jeremy Clements, it's probably Harvick with his loose car again. Yeah, look at Harvick, he's all over the place. Free wide with. Oi, 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 oi. Free wide with uh, Clements and. Uh, going to lose it into the corner as well as we go uh, around the outside of the uh, last in line with Clements and now Rhodes and Harvick. We put it in the wall, always useful when that happens. Harvick is so loose. In that 41 machine. He's going to wreck eventually, I can see it coming. Round the out, oh he's got on the inside, so we go under Brendan Jones and Kevin Harvick almost, this is Chastain. Round the outside of Chastain and Harvick, I really don't want to be on the outside of Harvick because I just get the feeling he's going to snap loose at any second. That's the Larson line again. Got to clear Harvick and that's good, I wanted to clear Harvick. Use uh, up Rhodes and uh, Hemrick going through the corner. Here comes Ryan Reed and Eric on the high roller. One to go, presented by Credit One Mank. And we can run the bottom line now as well for a little bit. Here comes Alma High Roller. We're going to get a hell of a run on Alma High Roller and uh, Reed. 
is Tyler okay. Reddit with uh, Spirit Guru Brad. It's going to be 14th in the stage. I hope I want it to be 13th personally. Although I don't mind making the outside work. There we go, 14th place from 27th on the grid. Right, nobody's pitting, so we're not gonna. Start a stage two now with uh, Spirit Guru Brad in front of us. Gonna cover off Ryan Reed. Well, the outside's definitely got a better run here. I'm on the outside of Harvick again. I don't want to be on the outside of Harvick. Well, speaking of loose people, that was uh, Kislowski all kinds of loose. As we've, we are really running this uh, Larson line ragged. Outside of Kislowski, oh, Kislowski gives us a, a nudge into the door. As we pass Reddick and uh, we're up into 12th, passing Tiff now. Poole's about to pass Poole. That's Poole passed. Let's go to Brendan Gore. There's someone on the inside. Who is it? It's Tyler. It's Matt Tiff. But we stay top 10. Should go around the outside of the 62 of Brendan Gorn. And now to Ty Dillon. Austin's up here somewhere then. There's Danny Suarez. Oh, see Brendan Gorn come up quickly. That's a door in from Gore. Impala against Impala. No, it's Camaro's now. The Impala's been retired. Impala's been long since retired. Oh, look! That's uh, Blake Cock getting all kinds of loose into turn three. These Xfinity cars are struggling through three. That's Matt Tiff. No, Brendan Gorn giving us a hello. the Larson line again, there's Brennan gone again, so we're back down to 10. That's good though, I thought we were going to tighten into the wall, but we're not, so we're going to stay 10th, 5 to go in this stage. to go past Cock, we're going to go around the outside of him. Still free wide, no we're not. Have a word with yourself, Mr. Uh, Spotter. We're really not making this high line. We can make it work in the trucks, but we couldn't make it work in the Xfinity. And now Matt Tier, Tyler Reddick's closing up on us. We're making this uh, line work. Here we go. We're going to pass Cock and Gorn. Hopefully, Gorn put Cock puts us in the wall. So, oy, 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 oy. so does Reddick. What's he doing? For some reason, we just cannot make the outside work. I hope we haven't done too much damage there. It doesn't look like it. We've still got uh, a bit of speed. That's good. Let's see if we did do much jam damage here. I think it was only light taps as well, so... 13% aero, so... So much for light taps. Two 
two to go. So it looks like we've got to settle for 11 for the minute because uh, our straight line speed's struggling. Definitely uh, repair the car. In fact, we've got the caution out right now. Right, everyone's pitting, we'll pit. Two cans, four tires. Ah, I'd like the truck in a little looser, please. Just a little looser. So we remain in 11th place. Now if I'm right, this is where the fuels part plays into it. Ah, no, there will be a pit stop here. That is guaranteed, ladies and gentlemen. Not even I'm going to be able to save enough fuel through that. Jesus! That was tiff flying up the track. Now we're all kinds of loose in turn one. Here yeah. comes Brendan Gorn back for some more with Daniel Suarez. Settle down a bit now, they're free wide behind me. I want to stay away from that. Who's that going to be? That's Suarez, Harvick and I think uh, Rick pulls in that bunch. As we go past Reddick and oh, we don't quite go past Reddick. But we'll go past oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that's Reddick, that's Ian in the wall. And it's Suarez. Harvick right behind me. That's Suarez into the wall. That's in the caution. Caution watch for debris. We're not going to pit. So we're still uh, P7. Well, no, we've actually moved up because we were P11. But no one's uh, gambled on a fuel stop yet. So 21 to go, 17 on the fuel. Harvick gives us a horror door in bloody Nora. They felt that one back in the Monster Energy series. As we sneak under Tyler Reddick. And uh, Ty Dillon. Here comes the one car of Harrison Rhodes. Where did Harrison Rhodes come from? So we're top five. We've got Sadler in front of us. We've got Cook. Oh, Sadler gets us loose. Who else is in front of us here? I'll tell you who I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen the nine car, William Byron. And that's the double zero of a Nat King oh, Cole Custer. Oh. Here comes Harrison Rhodes. He's going to take a top five. So it's Junior Motorsports leading from Stuart Haas. Uh, I don't know who the 11 is a driver for. I think he's a... Uh, Joe Gibbs leads from another junior motorsports no he's not 11's not Joe Gibbs because the 11's a Chevy Joe Gibbs is Toyota's oh that's it right everyone's pitting now so we got a pit but we'll only take a can of fuel and I think I want to tighten the truck back up, car back up. Right, so we've dropped all the way to 37th place. Thanks to Harrison Rhodes. So, now, with 15 to go, can we get the incentive contract for this team?
Yellow, yellow, yellow. We might as well, we're back here. I'll take tyres as well. So now it becomes that little bit harder. But we're at the back of the field. We've got Lupton here as well. So, I think it's going to be 13 or 12 of the line. 12 of the line. 12 laps to get the incentive contract. See what we can do. And we're already up to 34. That's just in one lap. To, look at this state of Dakota Armstrong's car. Now we're up to 26. They're a little bit more behaved up here now as we come past Ryan Sieg. Here's Brennan Poole. You see Alma, no, that's Hemrick. I thought that was Alma High Row, but it's not, it's Hemrick. Pool's car's a mess. Which one's the pool? <laughs> oh, that's, that's Pool, Pool with a big one. Oh, do you see that crash from Pool? Dear me. Right, and don't pit. Rip Brennan Paul. Right, so we've got to pass the Kozlowski cars here now. With six to go. Free wide with Kozlowski and uh, no, that's Logano, sorry, and uh, Clement. So it is what's Kozlowski. We go under Logano. We've got to beat Logano. In fact, Brendan Gorn's got our incentive contract. Logano shuffling right back. Yeah, have some of that. Gonna get a run on Ty Dillon. And now a run on Harvick. So we're in the incentive contract position now. Got Chastain in front of us. Four to go. As we take the Larson line into turn one. Oh, Eric Jones, how did you save that one? Look at Reddick's car. Reddick's car's a mess. Three to go. Looks like Custer's just taken the No, Custer hasn't taken the lead. They're still trying to wreck. As we take the last in line, we did touch the wall. All right, we're gonna go into overtime, folks. The 
so it's overtime. As long as I do not get passed by Kevin Harvick, I've got this incentive contract. <sighs> Two to go. We're good on a restart, I tell ya. Four wide in the mid, that's not gonna work. All right, we're gonna go underneath. Whoa. Jones snapped into Ryan Reed. Who is leading this race? It is still William Byron leading this race. We're fighting cock for the top five. William Byron's been the strong car all day. He's going to win at Kentucky, folks. Harrison Rose second. Elliot Sadler third. We're going to finish sixth behind Custer and Cock. So all in all, a good, good race, I think. But first we have to see Brennan Poole absolutely chunking it for no reason. Watch the 48 car on the inside. Goodbye. Oh, rip Brendan Paul. We hardly knew you. So William Byron I think, was the dominant car all day. I think it's going to come up and say he led all 52 laps today. There was completely no stopping him. He was absolutely dominant. But to finish sixth, we'll take that. We had the fastest lap though, so we can take that. We only led 38 laps. That shocks me. We've got a car on the move. Hard luck, that Tift. Hard luck. Nice job, top 18, we'll keep you in mind. Yeah, just pay me, I wanna go back to the trucks. Everyone loves me in the trucks. Oh, is this Eldora? <laughs> it's Eldora. Right, Eldora, Pocono, Michigan, Bristol, and Canadian Tire. With them, you've gotta think we're gonna to be top fives, aren't we? So uh, we come to the Eldora Dirt Derby. So uh, that will be the next race. 25% race distance for the Eldora Dirt Derby. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you free wide into Victory Lane.